is trying to FaceTime me because she knows that I'm not at the airport yet and my flight is in an hour. Um, I like to leave things to the last minute and I don't like getting to the airport too early, it's just a waste of time. So, oh here she is. I bet you she's going to tell me off. Let's see. Hiya! My flight's at four. Sorry? It's at four o'clock. It's 3 p.m. Yeah, I know it's 3 p.m., but they're not going to close the gate. Sorry, but I'm making a nice two hours. She's, she's literally freaking out. I'm actually vlogging. Oh, are you? Yeah. I said on the vlog, I said I knew that you were going to tell me off for being late. <laughs> and here you are, it's going to be off for being late. Are you on the way? Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll FaceTime you when I'm actually there. Alright, love you, bye. See, what did I say? She's telling me off. Um, yeah, really, really excited. So, we're going to Porto um, to go and visit our lovely factory. Um, it's a family run factory. But I think it's always really nice to just go and visit. I think it's really, really important um, to meet the people who are making our swimwear um, and we haven't had the opportunity to do that thus far so yeah I'm really really excited obviously it's gonna be less exciting if I miss my flight but fingers crossed I think I'll be fine I'm very glass half full you know so I just think it's gonna be fine but yeah um, I'm super excited I've never actually been to Porto before so Right guys, so I am in Porto and it's about 7.30. Is it 7.30? What's the time? Oh, it's 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. I'm actually waiting for the girls to land. I think they land about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. So I've got an hour to kill. However, we are renting a car, right? It's manual. I have not driven a manual in quite some time, probably since I was 21 now 26 so just to give you some context of how old i am um so that's gonna be concerning it's also dark and i'm on the other side of the car so i think i might ha just have to give it a little test drive around the car park before i you know endanger the portuguese people um and the police come after me because don't want that i actually did take out um full cover it wasn't included in the policy but i thought it is probably best it's only 40 quid. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to be here. It's actually quite cold. Um, but apparently it's really hot during the day. But I'm super, super, super duper excited. Um, and yeah. We're actually staying in this really, really nice hotel as well. So I will show you around that when we arrive. Wish me luck. Hope I don't die in the car. <laughs> morning, guys. Oh. First morning in Porto. Say hi to the gang. We've got Lizzie here. We got Laurie, we got Tash. Um, we had a bit of drama with the car. Like I, I can't really go into it, but <laughs> essentially I had to call someone from the hotel to come and walk time. to me and then drive the car to the hotel. Cause it was just, all the roads in Porto are like really, really thin. It's all one way. I was nearly in tears. And for me, that's a lot. Um, so yeah, but I'm sure the girls are really excited to drive with me today. Um, so yeah, keep you posted. It's stunning. 
um, and I'm very excited. They're going to take us to lunch, and obviously we're going to show indicate. <laughs> <laughs> People are not good drivers. Laura, really it with you. Laura is a very anxious driver. A very anxious passenger seat. Yeah. Um, and we're going to show you the factory, obviously. We so, absolutely are. So we will meet you there. We'll check back in when we're at the factory. <laughs> oh, there's a dog. You guys go. Oh, <gasps> there's a dog. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, He's a Spanish Portuguese dog, brother. Oh, oh, oh I love you. Stretch it like that. So, this is a good alternative to this lining. There's so many different cotton bases here, and obviously, then you can just print on them. Nice to have a crepe as well. Mm -hmm. There you feel that. Oh, that's really nice. It's really soft. Hang on. Another one, Mark. Another one, Mark. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> you I, mean, I, I keep eating more of them. I'm like, oh, I just have one. Like, <laughs> I'm just so full from breakfast. I really went in on the buffet. <laughs> do we ever want to do something really spooky? Oh, what a wonderful day. <laughs> we are just driving. We're following our main man, Philippe, who owns our factory. Um, he's driving to be devious, so I don't say that, but you know what? <laughs> it's fine. Let's not out him. Anyway, he, 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 watch our vlog. <laughs> anyway, so we're on our way to lunch. We just looked at so many fabrics. Well, Lizzie and Mon looked at so many fabrics. Myself and Tash just took lots of pictures. Nice we went and looked, like we went around the whole factory. We certainly did. Sorry, Mon's concentrating. Tash is doing a tour of Porto in the car. <laughs> um, so we went through, we literally, you'll obviously, you'll have seen it by this point in the vlog, but we went through the whole factory. We looked at like the, a sewing room, is that what it's called? Yeah, sewing room. They had a oh. laser machine. <laughs> yeah, the laser cutter is great. Well, obviously, you will have seen it by now, but it's we were all mesmerized by that machine. It I was amazing. We so and it means there's basically no waste. It's really minimal waste. It basically cuts it like super precise. It is he incredible. waving at you? Sorry. I don't know. Interesting. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, so yeah, we're on our way to lunch. Gonna have a lovely lunch with. Philippe the factory owner, they Philippe are and Sandra. so lovely, and Lizzie's just said that she's never met factory owners as lovely as them. So that is a glittering review, indeed. Yeah, it's a five-star review, Philippe and Sandra. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll check back after lunch. Maybe we'll put some clips in of lunch. Let's put some so Portuguese food on, so you can, you guys can see what's what we're traditional wearing. Portuguese food. That's his eggs. Yeah, no, but what's the second part of it? Like classic Portuguese. Yeah, is that like spicy eggs? Or yeah. Something? Any Portuguese people can tell us what the, tell what us the what national Portuguese food of Portugal is. Um, and they will find a way. Anyway. Patatas bravas! Yeah, That's Spanish. Safe. Very different. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're pulling into lunch cheese, now. Like sweet cheese and jam. So we will mm. check oh, back. Oh, goat cheese I couldn't have last night. Oh yeah, that was very nutty goat cheese. That was upsetting. Um, so why do they use almond? No, it was, wa it was walnuts in the but chutney. I feel like, like cookies were made by almond. I was like, I feel like just use normal flat. Oh my god, where are we going? Oh god, I, I might keep Is knocking. this two way? Is this two oh, way? I don't know. Oh god, let's just follow Oh god, <laughs> this is what I mean. I'm gonna have it. I want to pelt it. Oh I'm god, it just automatically works out. Then. Huh? Oh god, is it, is it stopping? This is exactly huh? the kind of hills that huh? I was dealing with. <laughs>
whole time. Oh and all gosh. of a sudden it slows down. Oh my god. You, need to get you start back. reversing down the line. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. This is so high. <laughs> okay, it's, it's leveling up. Okay, it's leveling thank up. God. Thank God. Whoa. 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 And you were like, yeah, okay, if anyone think right, this is just a prerequisite. Yeah, this is any Porto travel advice. If, if anyone has not been to Porto and thinking of hiring a car, just don't. Just don't bother because so many of the streets, in fact, the guy told me yesterday, 95% of the streets are one way and they're on hills. So and cobbled. cobbled. And get cobbled, a bike. yeah. Get a bike, a bike or a taxi. They need electric scooters. Yeah, anything. Yes, right, this is a bit of a dodgy bit to go for lunch. Where okay. on earth are we? <gasps> Philippe, we could have done with an indication. Yeah. For the high summer. Okay, anyway. Low indication. Water, we're water. we're checking back at lunch. Potentially after lunch. Yeah. Okay, they'll be back. For high summer time, I came. It's winter. <laughs> Can you see even like the wire under here is it lifted? A little bit, yeah. So it's not flat. So I'm like wondering functionality wise, because for example, like it's still really, if you feel under here, yeah, it's all, there's, think, there's all a gap. I think it might be a little bit small. Mia, ask, Mia, ask her. Tash. This one's better because my actual boobs like touching the material here, whereas on this one, this bit, my boobs isn't touching at all. But the other wire, the core is zero. Yeah. You mean you have no wire and only have both? Yeah, and if you don't have this problem here, not the phone, the pets. Look at the phone, please. Do you want to give me a brief overview of what just happened? Okay, so we're just making some adjustments to one of our styles. We we'll, don't want to show you too much, but I mean, it's fine, it's not We obviously want the the underwiring to be as pushy up here as possible, to be really supportive, <laughs> and to not like make the boobs full squished. So we're just putting so, it now. Mm -hmm. And I've had to make yes, just so immediially and made amends to it, yes. which is something. Yes, there's something we can do. It feels better without the wire. Yeah, like it feels like my boobs actually. So no fur. They don't feel flat. <laughs> Go on, Mom. Get them back. Oh, bit of a gel. Oh, wow. Like a trade fair, fair. Okay, like a, a trade fair, fair. Fair. A fair, 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 a
bitches. <laughs> um, so I am really excited. I'm excited because I get excited when I see fabrics that I really like. Um, Lizzie's found a few that I'm obsessed with, but they are a little bit expensive. <laughs> a little bit out of budget. Oh, um, when you come back, Tash is concerned because she thinks that we're going to be overspending whilst we're in camp, but we will obviously won't commit to anything until we run across the team. Um, but I am just excited to get some options, and obviously we strive every single drop to make sure that each campaign that we do and each drop that we do is just better materials, better quality, better stitching, just everything better. Um, so yeah, it's obviously great that we're being pro um, being proactive um, with finding new fabrics and new trimmings. So very exciting. And this is a predominantly a swimwear one, isn't it, Lizzie? <laughs> you I'm not first around town. Huh? Um, but yeah, we've had a great day. We really have. So <laughs> anyway, we'll probably touch base at dinner um, and show you some lovely scenic views of Porto. And yeah, lots of love. See you later. Dinner. Right guys, we are in Cannes. Um, here's Lizzie. Hey. And essentially we have left the girls in Porto to go home. Um, and we have had a bit of a treacherous journey. We flew to Paris, then th flew from Paris to Nice. And then we've just arrived at the hotel. The hotel's lovely. I'll actually recommend it because it's beautiful. Um, and all the staff were really, really helpful. I'll tell you who wasn't helpful. Um, what was it called? The, what was the Portuguese airline that Tap. we... Tap Airlines. Oh my gosh. Like the the customer service was at a at a low. Um, and the same for French EasyJet. Like it was just kind of really unnecessarily quite rude. And like we were, In you know, way. asking too much actually just by being there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a bit annoying. But, you know, we've come to the hotel. We feel good. We're actually going to go out to... Um, to get some sushi but the real reason that we're actually here is because we are going to a fabric fair tomorrow I'm really really excited it's my first fabric fair it's Lizzie's first time in Cannes as well um, and so we're really super excited so the aim of the game is really to have a look at loads of different fabrics loads of different materials loads of different trimmings um, and essentially all of these companies from all around the world they come and showcase their gifting, their gifting, their trimmings and their materials. So I am really excited um, about this because essentially if we find something that we, that we really like, it means that we can introduce it into our collections. Um, so just giving us loads of options for the future drops. Um, so it's a really, really exciting time and I'm super excited. Um, so I will catch up with you guys in the morning. I will show you around the hotel in the morning, hopefully. Um, and then I can show you around the fair as well. Um, but yeah, speak to you soon. Good morning, guys. Um, I am at the fabric fair and we've just been mingling and looking at some fabrics. We're about to go and search for some trimmings. It's such an amazing place. It's basically all of these wonderful um, companies from around the world showcasing their fabrics and their prints. Um, so we're having a look for our next collection. It's very insightful. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to sh turn you around in a little bit. There's Lizzie. <laughs> Lots going on. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. And what's great is that it's predominantly swimwear. Um, and resort wear, so it's a great time to come. But yeah, catch up with you guys in a bit. Speak to you soon. My hands, thank you so much for watching. As you've noticed, I'm not in Porto. I am recording this after the trip because I've taken a long, sweet, sweet time to essentially do the finishing touches to it. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. It was such an amazing trip for all of us to go there, see the factory and see the amazing quality. And I just think 
it's really, really important as a brand owner to make sure that you know who's making your clothes and that everyone is treated ethically um, and everyone's happy doing what they're doing. Um, and that's exactly what we saw. And I hope you can see that. So we just wanted to show you the journey um, because we've never been able, excuse me, Zola, um, we've never been able to actually go and visit the factory, especially because of COVID. So it was a really, really special moment. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of love. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Swim Society. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoy our journey and lots more to come.